come out today looking for some fossils. Mainly wanted to get out and have a walk more than anything. Didn't really expect to find very much. However, I've actually come across something which I've never ever found before. I know my brother Shay has found one in the past. I don't think we've ever shown it though. But the fossil that I've found is what I believe to be a fossilized shrimp, which is something that is just unheard of around here as far as I'm aware. just something that I never thought I would find. I also found a little ammonite as well. So I'll show you that first, nothing particularly exciting. Then we'll have a look at the fossilised shrimp, or what I believe to be a fossilised shrimp. This is the little rock which contains a very crushed, compressed ammonite. Let's have a look at this one to begin with. Unfortunately, very poorly preserved. However, I remember when I first started fossil hunting, finding something like this was incredibly exciting. I found lots of other nice ammonites since, but even still, I, I do appreciate just how nice fossils like these are, even if they're not perfect. All right, let's have a look at the fossilized shrimp next. Now here is the fossilised shrimp and it's an absolutely tiny little rock. I have no idea why I actually decided to crack this one open. I think it was because I'd not really found anything. I thought, you know, I'll just chip this little pebble open, see what's inside. And it opened up to reveal this. Now this is the imprint and this is the actual shrimp itself. So I'll just put the imprint to one side. Initially, it might be a little bit tricky to tell what it is. However, you can see the body of the shrimp around here, a little tail as well, and what looks to be some sort of little legs. I'll just zoom in so you can see it a bit better. You can see the body, tail, one of the legs. I think you can see it quite a lot clearer now.
look at that. The detail is exceptional. It is such a rare find. I think when I get home, possibly get my dad to prepare it a little bit, if possible, but with a fossil like this, you know, it's incredibly fragile. So there might not be too much preparation we can do to it. it. Might be a case of just very lightly coating the fossil itself with something to protect it. But I'm very pleased with that. I know it's only small, but it really is very, very rare. And it's the first one I found. Sometimes your best finds can come when you least expect it. Hope you've enjoyed looking at those fossils. I know the ammonite wasn't too exciting, but the shrimp certainly made up for it. Hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Just on my way off, I've spotted another nice little ammonite fossil. This time quite different to the previous that I've just shown in this video. Can you see where it is? So this fossil is just down there. piece of seaweed attached to it. But this is a lovely little imprint of an elegant Hisserus ammonite, a little bit piratized. And again, pretty unusual. Another pretty unusual fossil, with this piece of seaweed hanging off it. I think my dad decided to do a little bit of preparation to the shrimp. If it ends up looking much different to how it does in this video, I'll be sure to show it again in a future episode. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Got a couple more little clips and then I will see you in the next one. That's amazing.